people, Denny here. So today, oh, I'm at one of my, my favorite spots because being a DJ and digging music and just entertaining, this is the spot to come. Uh, I'm here with my man, DJ Jason Janai, founder and owner of SCE Event Group. Uh, Jay, man, this place, it's, it's groovy, it's got all sorts of love and modern flair and dynamic. Tell me how you got started in the, in this whole DJ world, man. Yeah, I mean, this place didn't just come out of, I appreciate you being here, I appreciate seeing you and having you guys over here for the day. Um, this place didn't come out of kind of the air, it's been a long time in the making for us here at SCE. Um, in terms of like my history, I've been doing this for a little bit longer than I probably care to admit. Um, I've been fortunate enough to do um, events for people literally all over the world and it's something that I've always been super passionate about. Sure. Um, I got started um, when I was in college and it's how I got through school. And um, after I graduated college, I you know, found a, a career job and I was working and I was doing this on the side on weekends for a number of years. Long story short. Did um, you ever do like college, like you know like I was a that DJ in college would do college parties. See, I was never like, like a frat guy. I commuted yeah. to school. So it was like, it was it was cool. So I, I actually lived at home for most of my college life. Yeah. And then um, I had worked in the nightlife industry up and around Jersey and all kind of little all over the place. And um, this is really all that I knew. Um, when I graduated college, I started working and whatever. And I did this on the side. And it was, it was super cool. And um, here we are today, a long time, you know, in the making. Here. So you're always into into music. Like, what did you see something that inspired you? What what brought you to, to DJ? I I think you know, like going through school, I was always like an athlete. I was very athletic. I was always involved in sports and surfing, and I was always active. Um, as I got into the later part of my high school life, um, my friends were always going out and having fun, meeting girls, doing yeah. all this crazy stuff. So I went out with them one night and, and um, I had an absolute blast. I, was, I, I, I became consumed as a result of watching a DJ work a crowd and literally control an atmosphere using music. I mean, the, back then you used to go out and it was, it was crazy. It was, it, was, it, was, it was life, it was energy, it was, there was so much going on and, and I watched someone literally control a room of a thousand people yeah. using music to influence emotion and, and it became something I was incredibly fascinated by. And then from there, the rest is kind of like history. And that's funny, I, I actually got chills when you say music to inspire and create emotion because just saying that it does because when you perform or, or you're in front of a crowd, whether it's 20 people or thousands of people, it's fun to be able to take them to all these different levels by the music that you play and the timing of the certain songs that you play. If you think like music is an incredibly powerful tool that is a part of everyday life for so many people all over the world, a song can take you back to that time in high school or that time growing up or whether it was driving in the car with mom and dad yeah, yeah. and having them sing a song <laughs> to when you met your, your girlfriend, your wife or a child or whatever. Music can put you in a different place and music has the power to kind of kind of get past politics and religion and all this crazy stuff. And it really can can help you escape from life. Oh yeah, and it know? relates to everybody. There's every there's everybody likes some sort of music. Yeah. You know, and and being able to bring back that memory, I think is great when somebody hasn't heard a song in so long and you play that song and people just they give you the, the thumbs up and the hands like, go up. Oh. It's It's awesome feeling for, for us and for you. Like you're just like, I love it. It's just, it's, it's exciting. Um, so you've been doing this for how long? You've been in the business for about? So I started DJing uh, in 1995. So right, okay, just yeah. a little over 20 years, which is scary to admit, but I yeah, yeah. feel like I'm you know, 23 in my mind forever. Um, so I've been doing it a long time. I've, I've done somewhere probably in the area of like 1,250 weddings in my life. Right, wow. A little over yeah. 2,600 um, social events in my life. And I'm still super active like to this day. So do you feel like you, you, you've changed like from when you were in college style-wise? Have you learned, you know, a different style or you've learned to become who you are? I think, um, I think being in this industry for so long, there's been a number of um, evolutions that have kind of occurred even in the past 20 years 
where we were 20 years ago versus where we are today is completely night and day. Totally. And yeah. um, one of the things I think for being in as long as you, as I have, you, you see these kind of trends take shape and then like literally culture changes or shifts. And well, technology too is is obviously a huge one. It's it's huge. Right? I mean, technology has made life a lot easier for uh, for many. I mean, that's really the point of, of incorporating all these latest and greatest tools. But it's also allowed people to do so much more. Yeah.